So I started karting when I was eight and then graduated to Genetic Junior Championship in 2010. Uh, I was 14, 15. Did two years of Genetic Juniors, ran ourselves as a privateer team. Into Genetic G50s, did three rounds, very successful first three rounds, and then ran out of money. Came back to do uh, Croft after missing an event. Uh, won again there, but wasn't able to secure the sponsorship for the rest of the year. Raced a Genetic G55 at the end of that year, with the idea to do Genetic G55 the year after. Again, couldn't get the budget. Did a round of um, Porsche Carrera Cup here at Donington. And it, it basically ends up being that I, I've driven Porsche's Genetic Super Cup and then culminated in British Touring Cars before then, I say coming back to Clio's, but again, and essentially rebooting my career after a couple of years away. Um, to, to become back into Clio Cup with the idea of going into touring cars in the future. I absolutely love Genet Juniors and I, to be honest if there was a, a series I could go back to of the championships I've driven in, it'd be Genet Juniors. The racing is insane and just the best, so much fun. Um, and I, I think probably the, the first year of Juniors when it was on road tyres uh, with a, a H pattern box, so you, you learn so much more about how a car works, a bit more about mechanical sympathy, um, the braking distances were longer which provoked more overtaking because the tyres didn't have as much grip, um, so I think that was that was probably the best year um, in terms of just driving, but yeah, Genetic Genius taught me so much in terms of, of car control first and foremost because it's the first time I'd ever driven a racing car, uh, racecraft, uh, secondly, and also about cars because when you've only done carts, there's no suspension, there's no gears, and, and they're two pretty critical things in cars. Preparation for a race weekend is really, really important. So, the week before, I generally try to not commit to too many things, um, make sure I've had a good amount of sleep, um, which sounds ridiculous, but it you know, you don't want to come into a race weekend tired. Um, I watch as much on board as I can if I've got it. So, you know, fortunately this year, second year of Clio Cup, I've got on boards of every round to look back at. And also, again, because we're on ITV4 every weekend, we have the the availability to watch our races back from, from an exterior point of view. So, you know, I look at that and looking at, you know, who started well, where they started well from, what they did, where people overtook. And, and, and all that sort of thing really, so just, just trying to refresh my mind um, and, and make sure I'm generally well rested up. Um, so I work with the team at Talk Human Performance uh, who've given me a training plan, so, so generally my training plan is Monday through to Friday and I have the weekends off which is great. So Monday's a run, uh, Tuesday at the moment is all to do with chest, um, Wednesday is kind of shoulders um, and and back, mainly focusing on shoulders. We, we weren't sure if we would end up going down a touring car route and when I last drove a touring car it was pretty physical on my shoulders so I really wanted to focus on that. Uh, Thursdays is all about core and then Fridays I slog myself silly for an hour on a bike so sweat dripping off me. Probably Donington. Um, Donington is just a hell of a track to drive. It's got so many undulations, um, and and I, I just like it. I think Brands Hatch GP would come a very close second. Um, again, because of the, the nature of it. Same with Knock Hill, and and probably also Croft. Croft's a track that people don't realise is, is actually very technical and, and has got quite a lot of character to it, even though it looks quite flat. Um, and it's five minutes from home, so I can go home over and have a shower. Uh, motorsport role models of the current era um, would be Lewis Hamilton. I just love the way he drives. I think he drives um, with his, you know, with his heart, and he just bloody goes for it. To be honest, um, my dad's a bit of a role model within motorsport, as I think a lot of dads or parents are. Um, you know, he, he used to do it, and, and that's kind of what got me into it. Um, and I, I also would say that John Surtees is is a, just a massive hero, never mind 
motorsport, just an absolute legend all round. I suppose I've learned a lot more about him after his death and having having read a lot more about him, but um, I think he's definitely a motorsport hero. Win the championship, that would be the shortest answer you get in this interview. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to race in British touring cars in the short to long term um, and then who knows after that really I'd love to race in VH supercars or DTM but realistically will that happen I don't know I'd love uh, VH supercars is probably more achievable but um, I've no idea to be honest if I became a British touring car driver that'd be pretty cool so I'd be happy with it.